Inside that man's body is a little child calling out for help. Help me, help me, he's saying. <laughs> Look at him, Andy. Just imagine the tortured thoughts going through that fevered mind. I'll sing you a song. Oh, good night, moon. Moon, you just fade away. And hurry up, Mr. Sun. Bring home new day. And there are a few things we ought to get straightened out right at the start. The boys in here says you don't keep your word. Now, here at The Rock, we have two basic rules. Memorize them so that you can say them in your sleep. The first rule is... Obey all rules. <laughs> Secondly, do not write on the walls <laughs> as it takes a lot of work to erase writing off of walls. He said if he caught me without my uniform on, he was going to... Break every bone in my body. Rednecks, crackers, hillbillies, house frows, shut-ins, pea pickers. They think like I do. <laughs> well, they're even more stupid than I am, so I gotta think for them. You don't really approve of me. That's so, ain't it? You dance with me. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, she's my girl. You're kind of stepping into my territory. Well, that's right. I'm gonna pack up my one shirt and the old Bible my daddy gave me and my cigar box guitar, and I'll just get me on home to Riddle. The Andy Griffith Show was brought to you by... By the Jacks. By the Jacks, what you doing to me? set one out on me. It was about nine o'clock. I figured somebody was in there, so I took the set and went in. Wasn't nobody there. You didn't see Mr. Bryan there this morning when you were in that building? Well, I was coming out of the place, and that's when Charles Keyes called out to me. No further questions. You talk about a fairy story, huh? Court is recessed for 30 minutes. I'd like to see you in uh, chambers when I'm finished here. Of course.